<clears throat> okay, this is the start of our procedure for the self-contained washrooms. So when you first come in, just make sure your valve number one shut off, that's the sewer. And then make sure the night valve, valve number two, is open. That goes into the sewer pit tank. And now before you fill up your uh, water tank with water, make sure valve number three is shut off. After you get filled up, open up valve four. Okay, after valve three and four is uh, closed and shut off, we're not using the municipal side, so make sure valve number six is open, because this is your main pressure line. And then valve number seven, close it until we get it pressurized up, and then we'll open it up later. Valve eight, make sure it's closed. Valve nine, close it. And then work your way up to the top of the hot water tank. Okay, okay now onto the hot water tank. Make sure 15 and 13 is closed. And number 14, open it up. Now we're moving on to the, the pump. We're going to use pump one first. So just make sure the two drains are shut off on the two pumps, 16 and 19. And now pump number one we're going to use. So valve number 17 will open it up. Valve 18 will open it up. Make sure your second pump, your valve number nine, uh, 21 and 20 are closed. Okay, we got that done, so now we're going to prime the pump. Okay, all you, after you get all the valves shut off in the mechanical room, uh, make sure your taps, your toilets, your urinals, and your downspout drains going down through the floor are all shut off before priming the pump. Now, just get yourself a crescent wrench. pressure valve off the top of your pump. Get yourself a gallon of water. And just slowly fill it until it gets full. Okay, when you get it topped up with water, your pump, put your pressure gauge back on. Just hand tighten it right now, just in case you gotta turn it back off a little bit just to uh, let a little air out, because it might get air locked on you. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna turn the power to pump into pump one. There's a little silver button down here on the left hand side of the pump. Just hold up onto it and that will engage your pump. And don't let go. Keep it held up. Just back this off a little bit. There you go. Your pump's pressurized. Just turn that tight. Okay, after we get the system pressurized, your pump will reach 50 to 55 psi. So now we'll open up our pressure tank. Valve number seven. Your pump might lose its prime, so you just make sure it's still working. I just pull it up on the silver button. So it pulls this uh, pressure back up again. You pull it because it's filling up your pressure tank. You might have to assist it by keeping that silver button held up. So it builds up enough pressure to keep it that over. Here it comes right up. 
run by itself now, so that's good. So let that pressure tank build up. Okay, after your pressure tank is filled up and your pump's shut off and you're back up to 55 pounds, we'll continue on filling up our hot water tank. So to fill up the hot water tank, we're going to shut off valve 14. And we're going to open up valve 15 and 13. And the same thing will probably happen. Your, your pump would probably shut off because it lost its prime. So just assist it by holding up the silver button again until it builds up enough pressure that you can let go of it. Okay, after we get the system all pressurized up, our pressure tank uh, filled up, our hot water tank filled up, we're going to continue on to our urinal. So to set a urinal, all we need is a screwdriver with a small tip. You might have to take this little black clip off to get at the, the slot that's up in there. It's a flat screwdriver, so just put it up there until you, you feel the slot. Okay, after you find it, just turn it counterclockwise. Just about two turns. And then stop. Just get your flush handle. If it looks like it's running just a little bit too fast, just turn back clockwise, just about a quarter turn till you get it about where you want it. That flow looks pretty good like that. We're going to try it again just to make sure. Put the little button back up in there. And uh, that's setting your urinal. Okay, after uh, adjusting your urinals, we're going to go to the toilets. So on the left hand side of the toilet, there's a valve down at the bottom. You just turn it counterclockwise to open the valve up. Turn it all the way and you'll hear your toilet start to fill full of water. Okay, after adjusting your toilet, just come over to your taps. And just try your taps. Just lightly push down on one of the handles just to make sure you got pressure on it, the water. And this tap does. And if it doesn't, you might have to reach up underneath the sink. There's two valves on each side of the tap. Up underneath, you might have to turn them on. But they should be open, so your taps are ready to go.